Hey there, not sure if this is non-dual Lisa, but if I, it is, I have a question. After an awakening, after an awakening, zero went, I went into ex existential dread and I felt separation anxiety. I wanted a female presence to hug me. How can I overcome this fear and denial of the truth? My e ego is scared as hell, suppressing energy in me. I might have mummy issues or something. Hey, Con thanks for your question. I'm just smiling because I'm thinking, yeah, maybe it's not so good then if you have mummy issues coming to me. <laughs> like maybe better going to a male speaker. But I can give it my best shot. Um, yeah, so waking up is like a death. It's a death of what you've been, like the attachment to this person. It's this new way of being. This attachment to self, this, this energy that gets released, does create a lot of fear in the body. And when that happens, the person is going to go to its first way of being to protect itself. So maybe your first seeking, maybe not even your seeking, but your first like injury in this life was feeling insecure with your mother. So what you craved on a deeper level was to have a mother who made you feel safe. So maybe there was like not feeling safe with the mother or maybe you felt really safe, but there, this is your first maybe seeking energy that comes, like wanting a female energy that makes you feel safe. And so if that is like one of your core issues, what it will manifest in the life is always seeking for that feminine, but you won't be conscious in it of it. And maybe like a hatred towards that feminine as well for withholding that from you. So there's like all these dynamics that are going on in it. And it will get very activated around that, very scared of that as well. So you can see how like in your day-to-day -day life it will have a big impact. And it's just amazing to recognize this because the recognition of something is what helps to begin to let it go and to transform it, seeing that it's not true. So that's your body's like first impulse. So maybe your body had an injury around the mother's love in the early years. And then there becomes this the over-seeking emphasis, like over emphasism on the ob obtaining of that. So it's really, it's really um, interesting dynamic. So when we, when we become, as a young child, when we become injured in this way, if that's what's happened to you, you have to go into it yourself. Like we tend to seek in different ways so we seek to avoid it so if you've been hurt by the mother's love at a very young age then maybe you avoid that your whole life or maybe you seek to always try to get it so you're always running after it and we tend to develop either this this backing off or this pulling to or maybe we develop both like backing off pulling to backing off pulling to and it all contains or it's all exaggerated by the seeking energy so that's your like defense, that's the way that your body navigates around this world. And then it gets exaggerated by the belief that that is what will make you feel safe. What makes you feel safe is the dropping into who you are, which is beyond that person. Which is this moment. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, Con. Maybe you have something back to say to that. It's about the mother thing and about wanting love when he felt like he was dying. Thanks for your response. Great insight. And I'll try not to project my mommy issues onto you. When they're that deep, you can't even see that it's happening normally. <laughs> 